Hello and welcome along to part one of creating a video slash web graphic using Illustrator and Photoshop. Okay, here we are in Illustrator. So let's start off with File New like this. We're going to be working in the video or web space which stays on the screen, it doesn't get printed. So we'll go down here to Video and Film and we'll select this DVC Pro High Definition, hard to say that, High Definition 1080 like that which will give us a size of 1920 by 1080 and we're working in pixels and OK now if you're new um, to this space you'll notice you've got a transparent background that might be a little bit scary so we'll go to view and we'll hide the transparency grid so it looks more like you um, you're used to OK and the first thing I'm going to do is get my rulers up Apple R like this and then I'm going to grab a guide and drag drag it out into the middle like this to about there then I'm going to grab my zero point that's this little thing right up in the corner I'm going to grab that and drag that so it's on top of that guide so we have our zero point in the middle and I'll hold the space bar down and just move that back up again like this now what I want to do is I'm going to grab another guide and drag it out to 432 like that and I should have 432 on the other side. Now these don't have to be exact because you'll see why in a minute. So they're approximately the same. I'm going to grab a ruler from the top and drag it down to the middle like that. And I'm going to click and drag again, get another guide, and just drag it down to about there, approximately there. That's good. So it looks like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw myself a curve to put the type on. Now to do that I'll select my pen tool, I've got a black stroke so I can see it, one point is good. I'm going to click here and click there like that. I'm holding the mouse down just dragging to the right and that can get away on you a little bit till I get a nice even curve. You can do that visually, that looks good. There are probably some more technical way of doing that but it doesn't really matter for this exercise. Okay, there's my curve that I'm going to put the type on. Now to put the type on I'm going to select my type tool like this because it's an open path I'm going to use my type on a path tool like this I'm going to click there like that I'm going to type in sculpture in all caps like that and it's quite tiny type so I'll just double click on it to select it hold the shift command and the full stop key and I'm just clicking it like that so I can see my type to get it to the right size now the font I want, which I hope I've got on here, is Fairview. Yes, Fairview Regular, that's the one we want. Now that doesn't come on the Macintosh, you have to download that. And I've got a copy for it if you need it. Okay, now let's have a look at this type on a curve. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer, like this. I'm going to go back to my black arrow key. And what I want to do is I want to grab this, this little black line here, and move it all the way to the left, right down here to the start of the line. So now I've got my little square there and up here if I select that type and click on this transform it'll put it right in the center. Now check this that you've got your squares at both ends of the line. I'm just getting away on me a bit there. As you can see if you click on it with the black arrow tool you've got a little square there and a little square there that'll center it right in the middle which is exactly what you want after you click on the transform. OK, I'm going to double click on that text to select it and I'm going to zoom in again. I'm using the, again, I'm using that shortcut of shift um, command and full stop like this and I know what size I wanted, about 236 I want, so I'm going to go here and just type that in, 236, just about right, very nice indeed. Now when you put type on a curve, here's a trick, now oh, this is called the rainbow effect but I don't like that look. So I'm going to go to effect, uh, no sorry, type, type on a path and I'm going to skew it vertically. It looks so much better when it's skewed vertically like that. Very nice indeed. Okay, I'm happy with that. Actually now, I've made a mistake, I should have put that on a new layer. Now I'll do that now and fix that quite easily by putting a new layer like this. And the fact that it's selected like this, I get this little blue dot just here. So I'm just going to click that little blue dot and drag it up to the next layer. So now the sculptures on the next layer up. So I might name my layers, that one's background. And we'll name this one 
sculpture like that very nice I think I locked the background earlier but I don't know what happened there so we've got a lock background and we've got sculpture great okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the option key down and the shift key I'm going to actually click and drag and hold the option and shift key at the same time so now I'm getting a copy of the word sculpture and I want to put that on its own layer so I'll just click on the new layer here like this and just drag it up like that now I can lock that sculpture layer so it doesn't get in the way and now I can select my type tool double click on it like this and let's type in by the like that I don't like this space in the middle between the by and the it's far too much so if I hold my option and left arrow key I'm just clicking that to close it up that's a bit too close very nice indeed and I'm going to hold the shift key down on the black arrow tool and just move that up a little bit very nice indeed okay now I reckon that should be about 134 points I'll get back to my type tool make that 134 Duh. now I've made, made the <laughs> silliest mistake everybody makes that mistake so I'll do it again I'll type in by the like this I love doing videos because you can see your mistakes over and over again make sure you're on on the black tool like that or you can select that and over here in your type tool which I can't see so Apple T should get it up there it is there I want that to be 134 very nice indeed that's a trap for young players so I'm just holding the shift key down and moving that up a little bit using the, the arrow clicking getting a bit close so I'll let go of the shift key very nice indeed and this layer I'm going to call by the okay now I'm going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to hold the option key down click and drag to make a copy of it like this and I'll start a new layer over here and I'll grab this little green thing and drag it up to there so now that's on its own layer and now I can lock the by the layer okay I'm holding the space bar down and just moving it back up a bit like that now I'm going to type in the word C now you're probably wondering why I'm putting all these going to the trouble of putting these on the um, different layers this will show you why now I'm going to make that 740 point which is quite big and they just tend to get in the way when you've got big fonts like this and again as you can see it's in the way so I'm holding the shift key down just moving it down like that with the arrow key now I want that by the to look like that very nice. I might zoom Apple minus to zoom back out again okay now I want these two letters these two end letters to be a bit bigger so I'll select that first letter hold the command key down actually I might I could do that but I might just change it to about 824 point I'm not guessing that should be right about 824 and I'll do the same to this one here I'll select that last letter and I'll make that 824 as well very nice indeed okay we're just about finished let's have a look at that that's looking well, just exactly how I'd like it very nice indeed okay now we seem to have lost our back background but that's okay so let's set it up just to take it into Photoshop I'm going to Apple minus like this I'm going to select everything I might unlock those and just move them up with the shift key shift and up arrow like that put take it into position very nice indeed okay now what I need to do I need to see that to make it a bit easier for myself I go to back to my background and I'll draw that black square again very nice and I can select I can lock that background and select all Apple A to select all and I'm going to change my font color to white okay now you could do that at the start or whenever okay now I'm going to save that Apple S to save it I'll probably save it on the desktop like this and I'll call it um, sculpture but by S or SBS like that um, we'll call it start and save and 
OK, Illustrator 6 is good. OK, there it is. It's ready. It's ready to be um, taken into Photoshop. And we'll do that in the next video.